These seven mistakes almost guarantee that your YouTube channel will be banned permanently and deleted from YouTube, meaning that you lose all of your videos, your ad revenue, and access to your account. Let's make sure you're avoiding these seven YouTube mistakes. Deceptive and malicious links. This is something YouTube takes very seriously. The policy around deceptive and malicious links includes links in your descriptions, but also in your about section and your info card. If you're taking people to dangerous websites or doing something that could result in piracy or installing malware, if you're doing that through your content, there's a very high probability that if YouTube finds out, they will permanently ban you from the platform and delete your channel. Make sure that the links in your description, your info cards, and your about section are good links that go to legitimate websites, promise exactly what the viewer was supposed to get by clicking on the link and not something else. Do not bait and switch people and you should be okay within this policy. Also just remember to try to use secure websites and HTTPS when you're linking outside of YouTube. Impersonation on YouTube. Parody is fine, impersonation is not. And you shouldn't really be that confused about what the difference is. Misrepresenting yourself as somebody else, truly impersonating someone else for the purposes of either defamation, saying something is untrue, trying to defraud and confuse viewers or customers is not okay. You see this all the time with scams on YouTube, usually when channels are hacked or compromised. And so this is something YouTube takes very seriously and it is a very easy way to get yourself deleted from YouTube and have the ability to even create a YouTube account ever again, totally stripped from you, a permanent ban. So make sure you're not impersonating somebody else. If you're worried that your parody could be mistaken for impersonation, probably best not to do it at all. If you violate YouTube's copyright policies and you get three strikes, you're out. Permanently banned from YouTube, never seen or heard from again. You don't wanna get your YouTube channel deleted for copyright strike violations. Strikes in the YouTube system usually last 90 days and then you have to prove your commitment to not violating the policy. YouTube sends you to basically copyright school, AKA kind of a reform school. Like when you have a traffic violation, you go to traffic school. Well, in this case, you go to copyright school and then uh, within 90 days, the uh, copyright strike goes away. But if you keep accumulating strikes over and over, and you get three strikes that are active, YouTube can delete your channel and there's not really an appeal process for getting your channel back in that case. And while many creators do rely on fair use, something I could make a dedicated video for you about if you'd like, uh, fair use does not absolve you from the responsibility when you use copyrighted material. Ultimately, to a large degree, the copyright holder gets to decide how their material is used, whether this is copyrighted video, images, or music. The best way to avoid this is to use primarily original content and with regard to music, licensing it through either the YouTube music library and those licensing tools or a third party licensing tool like Epidemic Sound, Licked, or Artlist. Another mistake that can get your channel deleted is spamming, especially comment spamming and link spamming. If you are spamming links in a chat or in the comment section, of a channel, then there's a high probability that your account can be banned on YouTube. This is something that a lot of people should take seriously. You shouldn't be using somebody else's comment section to link to your own channel or into your own website that is against the rules. It's also very rude to do that. So you want to avoid spamming links and spamming comments. This is something that will absolutely get you terminated if you get caught doing it promoting illicit and illegal activities. It should go without saying that YouTube is not a place that is going to allow you to promote the idea of committing crimes or selling through your YouTube channel illicit substances or goods or illegal services of any kind. This one should really go without saying, and it shouldn't be too difficult to read between the lines here. YouTube is going to hold you to basically being a law-abiding citizen here. So this is something that I think is very straightforward and doesn't require a huge amount of explanation, but they do have it in 
the policies so you can read more about there. I'll make sure that the YouTube policies are linked in the description for those of you who are unfamiliar with them. At some point, I might torture myself again. I read all of the community guidelines out loud for like three hours on a live stream. I might torture myself again with the newest version of that uh, before the end of the year. That might be a good reason for you to subscribe. Another one that should go without saying is child safety violations. Now, anything that's harmful or exploitative of children is not allowed on YouTube in any way, shape, or form. You wanna make sure that you're in full compliance not only with the law, but that you're applying a measure of common sense and human decency here. Again, this is a policy that shouldn't need much detailed explanation, but YouTube is not going to be aligned with content that in any way directly is harmful or exploitative of children. And so that content shouldn't be allowed on YouTube. If you get caught in violation of this policy, it is basically an instant and permanent ban from the platform, YouTube channel deleted. YouTube community guideline strikes is something that you really need to pay attention to. Once again, just like copyright, three strikes and you're out. Now, an important distinction here is not three types of strikes of both kinds. Let's say you had two copyright strikes and you had a community guideline strike. That would not be enough to get you permanently deleted and banned from YouTube, and you should know that. It is something where it has to be three of either. So strictly speaking, it has to either be three community guideline strikes or three copyright strikes, not a combination of them. And you do typically get a warning before you get a strike. Now, these expire in a 90 day period and they can clear. You want to avoid accumulating these. I will do a dedicated video explaining community guideline strikes and a dedicated video explaining copyright strikes so that you fully understand these things and how they impact your channel and what you have to do to get a strike removed from your YouTube channel and keep it healthy. Things that would be included under community guideline strikes, since this not as straightforward as copyright strikes that can get your channel deleted, would probably include things like harassment and cyberbullying or things that fall under YouTube's misinformation policies. Those you want to stay up to date with because they evolve as things in the world evolve. And so, as I said, it's something that I think might deserve its own dedicated video, but now you understand how there are seven huge mistakes that can ultimately result in your YouTube channel being completely deleted and a permanent ban on YouTube. If you have questions about any of these things, hit me up in the comment section. I will try to reply to them and give you a detailed explanation as best as I can. I'm also going to link to YouTube's policies in the description so you can read those whenever you have time, try to get a better understanding of them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my interview with the vice president of YouTube. I actually spent 40 minutes with him asking him some great questions about the future of the platform. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.